Hi guys, I'm James Hamilton from Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, and this is our monthly look at some of the new and interesting innovations in the woodworking world. This time we'll focus on workshop mobility. We'll take a look at a mobile base that's made to roll where other mobile bases can't. We'll see a set of flip-up casters for making things mobile on a budget, and we'll see a new way to move plywood around without straining your back. For our bargain of the month, we've got a handy storage solution that you can take right to your project. Now we have a lot to cover, we'll be moving quickly, so let's get started. I was really surprised when I first saw this mobile base. It's one of those things you look at and you say, why aren't all mobile bases like this? What I'm referring to are the big five inch casters. Most base wheels are only about half that size and they can't roll over much of anything. But with these big high quality urethane casters, I can roll over mats, wood shavings, even cords if I'm too lazy to bend over and pick them up. I'm pretty sure I can roll over my foot, but I won't because even without a machine on it, the base alone weighs quite a bit, like all mobile bases should. Yet it was surprisingly easy to assemble, which most mobile bases aren't. As it comes, the base will stretch from 18 to 28 inches in both length and width, and you can order extensions that will give you up to 36 inches of capacity in either direction. I worried that those rails might be a little lightweight for supporting a machine, but the base is rated to hold up to 800 pounds. As you can see, it has no problem at all with my molding machine. The wheels lock in place when you don't want the mobile base to be mobile, but because the weight remains on the swivel casters, you can still wiggle the machine a little bit, even when it's locked down. So that's something to consider if you're going to put something on it that absolutely must be still, like a workbench. But for just about any shop machine, this is a fantastic mobile base. I wish all mobile bases were all terrain. Heavy duty mobile bases sometimes come with heavy duty prices, but there is another option that just may do the job for about a third of the price. I attached these flip up casters to the legs of my workbench a couple years ago. They're rated at 400 pounds combined and fully loaded. I bet my workbench is every ounce of that, yet it still rolls easily across the floor, even over a little bit of sawdust. But don't get me wrong, these aren't all terrain wheels. You're not gonna be rolling over scraps of wood and the dog's tail. So don't be a slob, keep your workspace clean. The only issue I have with them is that fully loaded as they are under my big bench, you have to take some of the weight off by lifting up on the bench. I use a little pry bar to avoid straining my back. I think if my bench was about 200 pounds, then I could work them with my foot alone, no problem. But 400 pounds is a little tough. One thing that makes the casters especially suited for workbenches is how the full weight of the bench goes back on the legs once you flip the casters up. So you don't have to worry about it moving around while you work. And if you want to remove those flip up casters so they stay out of the way, you can buy a set of quick release plates. In fact, you could put a set of plates on everything in the shop you want to move around and then share a single set of casters between them. That'd really stretch your shop budget. There are a few products on the market that promise to take the back strain out of hauling sheet goods, but this one takes it to another level. I thought the best place to try out the new Material Mate panel cart was at a local one-man cabinet shop. Joel has been hauling sheet goods around by himself for years, and let's face it, he's not getting any younger, so he was happy to get some help. The cool thing about this cart is you can pull it right up to the back of your truck and slide the panel right off on top of it. Then the top tilts downward, putting the panel on edge. In this position, the whole thing, cart and all, could roll right through a standard 30 inch doorway if you need it to. Joel has a big overhead door, so he was able to go right from the truck to the saw to make his first cut. The height of the cart is adjustable, so you can use it as an infeed table. That means you're going from truck to saw and breaking the panel down into smaller manageable parts without ever lifting the entire heavy sheet. My only complaint is the size. It's great when you're hauling sheet goods, but if you've got a small shop, it could be a little large to store away when you're not using it. But it's pretty heavy duty and the casters lock, so it could easily be used as a tool stand when you don't need it for plywood. That's what Joel's gonna do, so he talked me into leaving it for him to use in his business. I suppose I'm gonna have to get another one now. And that brings us to our bargain tool of the month. These Rockler shop blocks are a really good idea. Inside, they have tightly packed bristles that support just about anything you stick into it. You might use it for pens and pencils, screwdrivers, scissors, wrenches. I've even seen people use them for their pen turning supplies, including their turning tools. 
You can hang one on the wall or attach a pair together to sit them right on your bench. You can even put your tools in it and carry the whole thing right to the job. I think you get the idea. They're really handy to have around. Well, that wraps things up for this edition of Cool Tools. Be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nub's Woodworking Journal. It's full of all sorts of woodworking tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker. You can read and subscribe for free at StumpyNubs.com. See you next time.